What's good with y'all? What's good? What's good? We tuning in for another video. It's going down. We got the we got some work to do today, man. We got to get on the move. Uh, like I said, I went to the alignment shop yesterday. Uh, I ain't even tell y'all. I noticed in the vlog. I ain't even tell y'all what they said, man. They couldn't line the car. Uh, it's because the back was so low. It's not cause the size of the wheels. If uh, the car was higher, they could have did it. But they were talking about the machine wrap around or something. They said. And you got to do the back to line the front up. So uh, he said if I put my factory wheels back on, they can bring it up there. They can knock it out for me and all that. And when I put my rims back on, everything will be in line. So that's what we're about to do. Got my toolbox all packed up. The, the Milwaukee Impact. So we're about to put these back on for a day. I'm going to put these back on for a day. So I'm about to head to the shop. Get these 26s took off right quick. Take it to the alignment shop. Let them do their thing so we can get that negative camber out. And then the car should drive 10 times better. So, then it's going to be showtime after that while they on here. Because they're coming right back off. <laughs> so, I'm about to get this thing loaded up, man. And uh, get to the shop. We're going to get the rims off. And then we're going to drive on over and get the, get the alignment done. So, stay tuned. Then head the shop. Got everything unloaded. About to get these rims off, man. It's dog. I'm gonna tell y'all, I don't mind taking these things off since I got the impact. The thing I hate about the back though, since it's so low, every time I jack this thing up, man, the spring fall out. So you let it back down, you have to guide the spring back in in place, man. I hate hate doing that, man. It's the only thing. As soon as I jack it, it'll hurt the spring fall out. So God. And you got to take them off one by one in the back. Like, you can't just jack it up by the rear end because it won't give you enough space to get the wheel out. So, while I got it out, too, I'm going uh, to roll this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and roll that. So, I won't be having that issue in the rim and all that stuff. So, yep, we're going to do all of that. Get these bad boys off. Come on now. Put on number two. Get right. There we go. Get that alignment done. I'm telling you, man. Hey. The impact, it was high, but the best thing I bought, man, without a doubt. So we're going to get this done, y'all, and we're going to the alignment shop. All right, so we got it done. We got the Mario shoes on now. We got the Mario shoes, that's what I call these, these the Mario shoes. So we got the Mario shoes on now. Ready to jump, jump out the gym. <laughs> and we finna pull, go ahead and pull this, uh, pull some of the octane in there. I got 10 gallon of milk from the lab log, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this in there. Five bowl. Drive it over to the alignment shop. Let them get that, that camera out, man, that negative camera car. Like I said, it's making the car dry bad. And when you, when you raise your front end or you lower your front end, you're gonna have to have some, uh, some work done. So you might as well get ready. I remember last time it died, so I got the jump box charging up. We got good enough charge on it. At least three jump offs. So, I don't know. Hopefully, it charged the battery enough by the time I get over there, even though it ain't far. But, it's a, you know, we got that, that 150 amp alternator on there, on here, so it should charge it up quick, a little charge. So, we're going to get this the gas in there, head over there, and then we're going to see what we got. All right, y'all. Checking in, man. Look where we at. The hood ain't up, it ain't, the hood ain't up for decoration, man. Let me get y'all the rundown. Now, the alternator not charged, and I called on, but I got over there to the alignment shop, they said they don't know if they can finish it today, so I'm like, man, I gotta bring it back tomorrow, but I had to jump it off. So it cut off on me right when I got there. I jumped it off, and uh, it cut off on me at the uh, four-way. It cut off at me at the, 
it cut off on me at the four way right up here. So it cut off on me. And then I jumped it all, got out and jumped it all. And I looked at the temperature. When I got back in, it was at 230. I said, hold on now. So I pulled over here on this tree and uh, cut it off, man. That's what I'm doing right now, letting it cool off. And now my jump box out of charge and all that. So now I'm going to have to call somebody and jump me off and try to keep the car crunk and all that stuff. So that what's going on, man. We ain't far from the shop, though. So as you can see, now we're supposed to have a tensioner bracket on here. But the belt that I had got, I got the belt they said the right length, which is 61. It said a 61 or a 62 at work. I got a 61. It would not be, it was not long enough with the tensioner bracket on there. So we took it off and used the straight tensioner on, but look how much, look how much thread is hanging out. So, you know, didn't want to go no farther than this, but you shouldn't be able to ro rotate the belt this much. I don't think, like I can rotate that belt halfway. So that could be a problem that it ain't turning. It ain't turning it like it should, you know, it ain't tight enough. Yeah. So I'm gonna go back and get the right belt put the tensioner arm on like we supposed to get a 62 inch belt put that on that should fix now like I said with the charging thing the alternator isn't grounded the case isn't grounded now with the old brackets the old brackets y'all see it's grounded down there on the on the uh, where the old fuel pump used to go the old bracket it used to be grounded right there on that boat now it doesn't have a ground so I'm gonna have to ground it somewhere and then I'm gonna run it over here that should fix the charging issue. And I think they got something to do with my fans too. I think they got something to do with the whole running hot thing called, you know, it ain't on full power, it's getting weak. Of course, the fans not gonna turn at full speed and all that, so. Yeah, man, little small issues. It is what it is, I have it fixed today. So, what I'm about to do, like I said, I'm letting it sit. I'm about to uh, get somebody to come jump me out because my jump box is, no, all done, it's done man, no more charge. We're gonna take this to AutoZone, let them charge it up. While you doing that, I'm gonna run this, run this ground wire, put it right here, I'm gonna run a ground to the case. We're gonna put that relocation bracket back on and get the right belt. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get this thing back to the shop. Like I said, get the belt, our uh, battery, let them charge it up, get the right belt, take that one back, and uh, we're gonna be all good. And after I get all that straightened out, I'm gonna see what it hit like on these tires. Cause I got to. And I was gonna take put my rims back on, but now I might well just leave them off cause man, I gotta I ain't coming down tomorrow. I might get cuzzled to drop it off over there or something, man. Somebody drop it off in the morning. So that's where we at y'all. Stay tuned. Alright, we made it back. The jump box had one more left in it. That's a good jump box, man. Link in the description to that jump box. This, I'm telling you, man. Y'all know I don't put y'all on no BS, man. And I still think I can get you 20% off. But this jump box right here. You my discount code, man. Get get this, this right here. If you missed out last time, get get it. This thing here the truth. I jumped this car off. It wasn't even fully charged. It wasn't even 100% charged. It was like 80% charged on the box. I jumped this car off. Let me see. One, two, three. Four times. Four times. And the last time, I'm talking about the box really didn't have nothing left in it. And it still, I said, man, let me try it. And it jumped it off, man. If I had to call, I let the temp go down. Far enough to, good enough to get it here. I mean, it got back hot, obviously. Cause something going, like I said, it ain't on, on full power. See, so it hot. It hot, but I'm gonna let it cool off. I mean, it's all right. See, we're gonna get it straightened out, man, uh, today. But I got to say, man, I got to say, I got to, uh, I got to shout out, I got to shout out everybody that stopped. Man, it would have been a good time and a real time to do my social experiment, cause it's a lot of people stopped, man. Well, I ain't gonna say a lot, but it's a, it's a lot for what you would see to, in today's time. Or one, two, let me think. We had one, two, three, four, Four people, four people stopped and ticked on me, man. Like, I appreciate y'all, too. I really appreciate y'all. Some, some of them watch, uh, hey, much love, man, much love to y'all. If y'all see the video, I appreciate y'all stopping and checking for real, man. And like I said, I'm gonna throw this out there. Like, it ain't about race and all that, but all of them was white, everybody. Uh, and the reason I'm throwing it out there, cause I ain't saying black people don't stop and help you. 
Cause I help people, but I'm just saying we got all this black and white junk going on right now. You know what I'm saying? Like with some people, it's black versus white. It always have been like that, and it ain't like that with me. It's good people versus bad people. That's how I look at it. If you if you ain't if you negative, I just don't fool with you. I don't care if you black, white, or whatever, man or woman. If you negative, I don't fool with you. If you talk about folk, I don't fool with you. That's it. So I just wanna I just wanna shout them out, man. I appreciate y'all stopping checking or whatever, like. Cause it, you know you have a lot of people right by, man. Some people see you in this type of car, off top stereotyping, man. Like. They just, they just the nature of the situation. If I had the rims on it, you know, show no. But some people see stuff like this, and they off top immediately stereotype you. Just don't even try you out, and then don't give you a chance. But you know, I appreciate that. They're crazy. I ain't even. I was about to make me a Facebook post, see who'll come through, but I ain't even have to do it. So, yep, man. We're gonna let old Dolo sit, cool off for a second, and uh. I'm going to pull it on in the shop. I'm letting the jump box charge up. Then I'm going to pull it in the shop so I can lock the shop up and go to the, uh, so I can get to the parts store and get what I need. So I'm going to drop this battery off and uh, get that right belt. Oh, I got to get that belt off of there. I'm going to take it back and get the right one. So y'all just stay tuned. Okay, y'all. So I got, got it in here. Uh, got the battery out. Got the belt off. Take this back, swap it out, we're gonna get a 62. And put the tensioner back on. Then like I said, I don't gotta ground that alternator. It has no ground right now, so it ain't charging. And ain't charging, it ain't got enough juice to turn no fans at full speed. I don't I don't sit right here and thought about it. I done thought about it and had to process it. I'm like, that's it. It ain't got enough current, man. Them fans, I'm telling y'all, if you if somebody got them fans, they know what I mean. But if you never ran these fans, they take a whole lot of juice. If your stuff ain't right, they can cause some problems. Y'all see it. I'm telling you. But uh, it's simple fit. So, like I said, we're going to ground the alternator. Uh, get it back charging. I'm going to get the right belt. Put the relocator bracket on there. Get the right tension. And this thing, when you tension this belt, it tell you in the instructions. It says, uh, it says, uh, it says run, run the engine three to five minutes. Then recheck the tension we check the tension on it you know check it after it's hot, while it's hot let it cool go back and retention the belt so you know you gotta do all that so yeah man i'm finna run this stuff the auto zone drop the battery off a little storm finna come through i'm finna get out there before it rain get back to the shop and wait till they call me back so y'all just stay tuned so i'm back auto zone we got everything we need got the wire i ain't doing that today Aunt said he got it. Let him do it. So he's gonna make it look nice and neat. Y'all know I don't like wire. Cause if I do, I'm a, I'm a neat free and perfectionist. But I got the belt. Uh we got let me lighten this up, man. Matter of fact, let me let me put on the hood light. We're gonna get that set up first. Alright, and then we good. This my next investment. I'm finna buy one of them. I'm telling you, I got to have one. That ain't coming handy, boy. So, I'm about to get this. We're about to get this off. See, do what I was telling y'all about. It really, the instructions, you're supposed to put the relocation bracket on it. Hold on, let me. Y'all see, I already got that. Y'all, that's what I was telling y'all about. See, that's how my old bracket setup was. It was just a tension of bar. But we had it so far out. I mean,. You couldn't turn no more. Uh oh, excuse me. But this right here, the relocation bracket is supposed to go, supposed to go on there like that. And see, it put it up high. Oh, I might have it. I got it flipped wrong. I'm sorry, y'all. It go like that. So the relocation bracket go like that. And then you put the tensioner arm on that, but. It sets your alternator back up higher a little bit, so you have to use a longer belt. <clears throat> so now I got a 62, 62 and a half. Should work. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this belt on here. I can at least do that for Unc. Throw this belt on here, then he going to shorten the wire up and all of that. And y'all looking at this Wednesday, the dyno session is tomorrow. So this confirmed. The dyno session is tomorrow. So we got to get this thing ready. So Unc going to come here tonight. The new distributor gonna be in the MSD box. It's gonna be tuned up for horsepower. 
engine called the first run we're gonna do on on motor we got racing gas in the tank already finna sort all this out the alternator really just the alternator and the belt which I'm about to sort the belt out now he gonna get the alternator and stuff so we're gonna be ready to go so when Thursday come we're gonna put it in the trailer uh hit the dyno see what we make on horsepower and then we're gonna uh spray it too I got another five gallons I got another gas to put in here for the race uh the race fuel to go in here for the nitrous then when we at the dyno our last run we're gonna pull the plugs out put the cold plugs in there uh retard the time and take some degrees out i think we gonna have to take uh let me think i won't tell y'all wrong three degrees out because i think it's one degree per 50 shot or either it's two degree per 50 shot i can't remember somebody drop in the comments i, I know somebody know it's either two two degrees per 50 horsepower shot increase or it's one degree so <clears throat> if it's if it's one degree we're gonna take three degrees out if it's two degrees you're gonna take i mean you're gonna take six degrees out which is a lot but i mean hey but anyway we'll get all that when we're in dino when it's dino time i explain all of that give y'all the rundown on all that stuff but somebody in the comments will drop but uh yeah that's the plan so we about to uh, get this thing chained out so let's do it all right so we checking in about to get this uh about to go ahead and get this uh bracket off so we can get the um put the new belt on there so yep y'all know why i work seem like we were just in this same area i was last time i did my real talk same messing with the same stuff so while i'm doing this i'm gonna do the real talk and i'm kind of piggyback off of what i talked about last vlog which is haters and how to deal with them well i'm more so talking about local jokers the old haters but anyway the thing is is uh staying focused though because you know they'll try to get you off your game man. They'll, they'll try to get you off your game but the thing is not let them get you off your game Call. Like I said, man, at the end of the day, them people, them people talking about you. They just doing it call. Hey, they miserable. They ain't got nothing going on. But, like, I want to talk about giving energy to them people. You know what I'm saying? Call. People be people are quick to tell you now. Don't don't give them any energy. But at the same time, you know you human though. You human. Giving energy is not necessarily addressing you know addressing them but giving energy is when they start you know distracting you from what you got going on meaning like you all off course all your time every day you getting on every day you getting up you worrying about what they saying and you you retaliating and lashing out that's giving energy cause then if you getting get to the point where you're doing it every day it's consuming your life. That's what you call giving energy to them people. To where it's, it's taking over you and your operation and what you got going on. Like, the way I go about it, it's not giving energy. It's just letting people know I know. But that's the point you don't want to get to. You don't want to get to where it's really taking over your life. Like, all you can think about. And you know whether you're giving energy to them or not. Nobody else going to know. Because can't nobody get inside your head. And read your mind. You know, you just have to keep real with yourself. If that's all you can think about is, man, so-and-so, this man talking about me, or this woman talking about me, yeah, then you you need to recheck yourself, Carl. Yeah, you giving them energy then. And they're messing with you, and it's, it's going to throw, throw you off your mode and your game plan. So you got to think about that. That's giving energy, so. But me, that ain't, that ain't what I'm doing. That ain't what I'm doing at all, y'all, so. You know, it is what it is. Like I said, y'all, it come with the territory. So, that don't air compressor won't let me be great. <laughs> so, you know, you just keep it rolling, man. It ain't, just, it ain't nothing serious like that. I had to look at the picture, y'all. I had to make sure I got it right. All right, so we got it right now. 
Alright, so now, but that's the real talk. Now what what this? I'm gonna route this belt wrong. I'm gonna sit up here and route this belt the wrong way. Not without no pitch. Not with no pitch, I'm not gonna route it the wrong way. Let me see, so it go around. Alright, so we go. Boy, I'd be hot in here with no fan going, boy. I'm telling you. Get it straight out first. Alright. So we go around, you go around the uh alternator and the crank. Go around the AC compressor. And then you go under the tensioner pulley and around the alternator. And that's it. So it's pretty simple. Pretty simple, y'all. So now we're gonna bolt this up. I'm sticking to everything. Boy, ooh, woo. Bad boy hot. So now we're gonna take this and bolt this up to the relocation bracket. The bad boy should get tight like it's supposed to now, y'all. You better do something. Right now, today, <laughs> you better do something. We got time to be playing around with this. <laughs> but D call man, D call gets you frustrated. I ain't gonna tell you no lie. Especially like when you doing what I'm doing. Y'all got to realize now, I'm putting together three calls at a time. Two of them semi together. Well, one of them semi together, which it did. Call it ain't all the way fine tuned. I don't call it together when they're running. It got to be fine tuned where all you change is spark plugs and oil. Then when I say it's together. So they will semi together, but then you got the Camaro I'm working on. And you see how this stuff happen, man. You you constantly like you bouncing around. When you first start, when you first build them, you bouncing around, man. You dumping money in, in one, then you when you get finished with that, something else happen, you gotta go dump money in the other one. Like it's expensive. Like my boy CJ, the one with the with the El Camino, y'all. He be man, he really be a call. That my boy, man. That man solid. I told y'all before, man. I had solid people, but that man, he really be a call, man. Like he get, he was talking to me the uh, last vlog, you know, talking about you no know, just being patient with him and all that. Which he right. You got to be patient with it, call. It gets you frustrated now. It'll get you on off your rocker, boy. You'll be like, forget it. You'll be like, forget it and be ready to sell out. So, I mean, you you definitely got to be patient, man. Like, especially when you're doing three on. It, it rough. It's rough doing one of them. So, you you talking about you talking about three? Junk ain't no joke, man. And they expensive too, like hundred, two hundred dollars here and there and all that. It still add up. But you know. We're gonna get it together. We're gonna get it right. It's all good. So, yep. So, now we're just going back with it. I guess I'll talk y'all enough. I ain't gonna bore y'all with this. I'm just tight, tighten this uh, tension up. Guess I can show y'all how they work. Guess I'll show y'all how they work. But, um, that's what I tell y'all the relocation bracket. It just go on there like that. That's the 516 bolt with 516 Allen wrench. And all uh, the head of it, and then this is your 3 8 your bigger bolt. Go through there on the tensioner arm, and then you just like loosen the jam nuts, like I was saying, and turn it to the right till it get tight. And that was my aunt. You shouldn't be able to fold your belt up like that halfway up. You shouldn't be able to fold your belt a whole lot. Uh -oh. You know it loose, so you just turn this, and it just keep getting tighter. So I'm gonna get this thing tight, and then uh, I'm gonna check back in. All right, we checking in, y'all. Back. Hold on, I'm gonna cut the light out. It's gonna look like we're gonna have to cut it down now, y'all. All right, there we go. I'm back, though. Y'all probably like back from where? I went back to the parts, though, man. <laughs> that belt way too long. Look. See, when I was screwing it, that's what I was telling y'all about, man. I screwed the thing all the way out till it came out. It came out completely. I'm like, well, that ain't gonna work. So we got a belt. That's an inch shorter. The first belt I had, the very first belt I had was uh, actually 61 and a quarter. So this is a 61 and a half inch belt. This should be the sweet spot. 
got the battery now so should be good to go so i'm gonna get this on here we're gonna see if it work y'all so y'all just stay tuned all right we checking in y'all we check it in we made that belt work but i'm gonna tell you if you get that 61 in the head i'm gonna tell you what you gotta do to get it on you gotta take the tension on all the way out you gotta take that boat out and you have to come get somewhere where you can pull on it you pull it up there you can pull it on pull on it enough to get the boat in there uh straight and flush it with up and then it'll get tight so that's what you gotta do and my other belt like i said a little too long but see i was able to my other belt i had on there early in the video i was able to flip it halfway up now i can't flip it halfway up but let it run three three to five minutes check it they make a tool for it too but check it then go back after it cool off, after the belt cool, go back and, you know, readjust it. And you should be straight. So yeah, that's that. Gonna, uh, I bought some, I bought some antifreeze cause you know, I know it needs some water in it now, so. And I ain't never had no antifreeze in here, so I'm gonna have to put some in it. Top it off, so we good right there, yep. Then we're gonna hook the battery back up. Like I said, then um, get here. He gonna go ahead and go in on it. He gonna put the uh, he gonna run the ground wire. Like I said, we got a thick. He gonna tie into the uh, negative cable right there. And uh, like I said, the MSD Pro Billet Distributor put the box on here. And yeah, man, we'll be oh new spark plug. Then we're gonna be ready for the dyno. So yep, that'll be that. Oh, the, he probably gonna go ahead and put the power steering on it too. Cause we got the right pump and all that stuff then i gotta go get them lines made i told y'all i was gonna do it today but i'm gonna get the lines made i think it's i know it's a dash eight on uh it's a dash eight and a six on the compressor i gotta show y'all that piece you have to buy it's a piece you have to buy when you get the compressor man that thing 80 88 dollars so i try to tell y'all the cost when you get this kit you want this same setup this kit seven seven seventy five i think that that compressor i kept everything march but you can get a sanding 7176 style compressor it'll work but that march compressor 306 then the piece to go to it so you can you know screw your lines on is 80 88 it go right it go right there so it's a it's a eight it's a eight mil fitting and i think there's an eight up there at the dryer too and then so you know you run out the dry to this side right here then off of there and run it to your uh condenser so yep they're coming something they're coming next then we're gonna charge it up and all that ac wires all this stuff still in the car so let me get the battery put back in here um uh, oh antifreeze in here then we're gonna fire it back up so stay tuned all right we're back Back ready, tack working right. So I said, y'all, we're low on power. We're low on power, y'all. power y'all what is it where they coming from oh, yeah. we just hear some huh we hear some bro. by the carburetor mm -hmm. oh, we're gonna crank this thing back up y'all with the plane was blowing in tomorrow jet then when yeah. the crank it. yeah yeah they were blowing regular regular speed yeah, we were low on power, dog. That's yeah, why the, the tack was going haywire, y'all. And the uh, the fans weren't blowing the right speed. That what that would have happened when you low on power. So all that stuff was acting crazy. But I mean, we got a full battery now. All the still ain't charging because Aunt got a ground it. But he he just pulled up. But now we finna see. Cuzzo just pulled up too. So we finna see what's going on. See what's going on with uh, the little hissing we just heard. Yeah, 
You hear it, Cuzzo? Oh, huh? Oh, We're gonna check back in. We're gonna see what he said, y'all. Yeah. Checking in, y'all. So y'all see, we just, just touch, touch it up a little bit. Oh, uh, did a two-stage burnout. Went to second gear. I stopped cause that thing went up to 6,200 real quick. But it's them gears in here. That's what it is. Them uh, them 430s back there on the 15. So it it just it turned the RPM real quick. But it feel. I told y'all these these the Mario shoes. That's what I call the Mario shoes right here, y'all. The Mario shoes. <laughs> We had to put them uh we had to put them shack feet back on here next week, but said we're getting ready to take it to the dino. Let me show y'all look, look. My boy came down here today. Now I ain't gonna show it engine. Cause I don't know if he wanna show it engine, but y'all we got a new we got a new race car to the club, man. <laughs> we got a new race car, y'all. That, that man Heather did big, man. That man Heather did this big, so like hey, it's a new race car, man, hey. <laughs> No, nah, I'm just messing around though, man. He cool, man. He cool people. He came through today. Uh, man, I, I meet, I be meeting y'all every time. I think that was our first time meeting and stuff. Came through. Shout out to his little girl too. She, she like, she like Dolo. So, salute to her. You know, I love the kids and all that. But uh, yeah, we down here. Quay, Quay pulled up. I don't know why this Ray car drive keep coming to a street car shop, but. <laughs> That man, look, let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all how much of a race car man this, this guy is. Y'all know Dolo is a true street car. It was on 60, U93 Octane, everything. I asked this man to move my car in the shop. He said, man, I can't sit in a street car. <laughs> he wouldn't even move it, man. <laughs> he wouldn't even move it, man. He said, man, I can't sit in, I only sit in race car. <laughs> I said, all right then, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but crazy. but nah that's it though y'all that's it for today uh like i said we got the we got the bracket on the belt tight uh aren't gonna run the line and do all his magic tonight i said y'all want the part normal on stuff i got like i said this the pro billet distributor so this what going on here the pro billet so that should be on tonight the uh the 6AL box, got the red limiter built in, I got the black one. It don't make no difference, it's just color, because somebody might ask, and it, it ain't no different than the red. Not to my knowledge. Then we got the blaster 2 car. So, so yep, yeah, we should be getting another spark and all that. They're going to help the tune out too. And uh, I'm hit Alex up, man. See, can I get him over here to get these seat cars? That's another reason, y'all. I don't never just. I don't never just uh 
really floor this thing called that seat. That seat be moving. Seat be moving big time, man. It, I'm talking about it throw your foot out the accelerator, back on the accelerator and all that, so I can't. I need these seats uh I need these seat buttoned down. So I can put the seat belt and stuff in the car too, cause I ain't trying to be on the road with no seat belts and all that safety first. So <clears throat> when it car leave the shop, I'm gonna have everything done to it. I'm gonna have AC on it, the window motor's gonna be in, seats gonna be bolted down. Uh, basically all the little small stuff gonna be done and uh then I'm gonna be worried about moving on to the cosmetic stuff where well, we're gonna take the track and all that i'm gonna keep it in budget trim probably two months keep it in budget trim like it is green and the uh the sixes that it got on it now then i'm going to the lab and i'm gonna try within two months like i said depending on the people i use because you know you got to bear with people i'm gonna try to remix this car in two months meaning like the new paint I'm going to have all the interior done, same seats, but I'm going to have them actually covered, dashboard wrap, door panels, all that stuff. And we're going to have the new, the new 26s. And say I'm going with a Forgiato. Shout out to my boy CJ. CJ talked me into it, like I said. They make some nice rim design. Y'all know how I feel about wheels. I ain't, I ain't following no brands or nothing. I want a high quality wheel. If I do spend that type of money, I'm worried about uh, construction and, you know, the quality. I ain't worried about how it look too much. I mean, just a little bit, but the rest is more so about the quality. Cause I like the 60 that I got on my car now. And this other stuff you can do to make a car stand out. Like, I think Dolo got one of the best stances in the game. I'm just being real. I think Dolo got one of the best stances in the game. I appreciate everybody that like the car and stuff. Like I said, I've been having people drop the comments, say they ain't even a fan of big real car, but they like Dolo, man. That mean a lot to me. That means a lot to me when you take somebody that's not a fan of something and they like it. So, yep, that's what that's the plan. Say, Alec, come over here. He get these seats in, get the deck cut. Then we'll have some music in here. I go buy some seat by nine and all that. So, I'm trying to get out, get this out the way as much as possible. Like I said, I'm gonna keep it in budget trim for two months. Cause then I'm gonna be on John Jones. Uh, cause this, this car here about to come back. I know y'all made this. I made this too. Cause this this is my more powerful car right here. This the fast, this the fast car. So that's why I got a timeline. Two months we're gonna ride Dolo and budget trim, so I ain't gonna be doing too much except taking to the track handle, ride racks and stuff like that. And then we're gonna be getting it ready, Kyle. <clears throat> it ain't all the way complete. We got a new kit, we're gonna make more power. Then we still gotta get the the fuel pumps gotta be changed. Set it up for E85, I already got the right fuel line. But the pumps got to be changed, set up for E85, and then I'm going to change the computer. And then we're going to turn it up. Then we're going to turn it up. Y'all know we still got the least electronic boost controller, uh, the motion race work, CO2 kit. These are my people that supported the car. Uh, we got the uh, Big T Performance torque converter here. Y'all forgot about that. All billet torque converter in this car. When I've changed that converter now, this car, this car dropped some time. It did get faster. Big T performance torque converters. You want the number, hit me up. That's just like if I get him to do a converter for this car right here, even though it's a budget motor, it'll be a whole nother animal if I want to take it there. If I put a billet torque converter in here spec to this motor, it'll be a whole nother animal. It make that much of a difference when you're talking about performing. So you can just go buy one off the shelf and all that and be okay. But if you spend your money, you know, you spend a thousand, fifteen hundred. On the converter, get you a real unit, be in the game. So, yep, that's it, y'all. I appreciate y'all. Uh, I might, the video tomorrow, I'm probably gonna be some, I'm gonna do something on Big Meats, cause I ain't coming to the shop tomorrow. Uh, next time I come back Thursday when we go to the dino. So, it might be, uh, probably gonna be a video on Big Meats after this one. And then after that video, y'all see the dino video. So, yep, that's it, man. I appreciate everybody.